Well, Simon, a two-all draw today, but I mean, the first thing to say is what a game of football that was. Yeah, I'm sure um, it was one that you know the supporters would enjoy. I'm not sure it's one the coaches would enjoy <laughs> when it's that open. Um, but yeah, look, I, I, think, um, I think both teams will probably feel they've had good enough moments to win it. Um, I think the point is probably fair yeah. on the day in the end of the game. And, and yeah, just... Um, Two honest teams in the te in the end of the game having a right go, and um, you know certainly from my point of view, I was very proud of the players today, and Anna kept going, and more importantly, come back from going two one down in the second half. Well, we talked last week, didn't we, eight days ago yeah. about character, and again, your team has shown that in abundance this afternoon. You must be so proud of that. Yeah, I am. Um, I will balance that though with our, you know, I'm disappointed with the nature of how we go behind. Um, so you know, it's not something that you know we're ignoring. We need to we need to manage them scenarios and them situations far better particularly when you're on top you know we're on top after the in the second half and I think it looks like us that's going to go and take the initiative and take the lead and then you know from nowhere whether it's our, our setup or whether it's our structure from a throw um, we we have to nullify that so but you flip it back still found a way back in and you know could probably as well go on to win it um, but as could they the equalising goal came from a set piece. Uh, and the, the amount of work you must put in on set pieces, attacking and defending, yeah. um, shouldn't be underestimated. No, that's right, and that's credit. That's a that's a team effort from the staff and the players as well. You know, we, we've got that relationship with the players, and we you know we involve them in that process, and you know because they're the ones who've got to go and deliver it. And um, yeah, I, I certainly don't think we can um, we can question the contribution from that point of view over the, you know, well, the last 10, 15 games. Um, but there was a lot of good playing and open play today as well, and I think you know we're, we we weren't far away from finishing off some what would have been some really fantastic goals. You also had to think defensively and think on your feet today, especially yeah. when they threw a, a centre half on at centre forward, and you responded going to a back four. You brought Jordan on to try and shore things up and stop that supply line. Tactically, it was a, a fascinating battle. You obviously enjoy yeah. that challenge. Yeah, I think. Um, <coughs> Look, you want to find that balance of not moving away from your principles of play, um, the things you want to be good at and the things we want to be good at. But you do have to react, you know, you do. And, and particularly the, the scenario for them today and, and for us you know, was, some people might say perhaps they needed the three points more than we did. So, you know, I'd let other people make their mind up on that. But we, we certainly needed something out of the game. And, and obviously with our decisions on the side, it was that balance of, you know, not going too deep and too defensive and keeping our threat and our teeth, but equally giving the lads the best chance of seeing the game out. I don't know if you're aware, but that's 16 unbeaten now for County, which equals a post-war record. And given that you've only been here for 25 games, uh, you must be proud of that achievement as well. Yeah, it's a good achievement. It's not one that I'm you know, going to get carried away with. Um, but yeah, it's right to be proud about it. And, um, and and what makes me proud is uh, the work rate that's going into that, you know, the effort, the commitment, and, um, and probably the one frustration for me over this run that we haven't been able to have the supporters in, you know, really connect, you know, because I think they would really want to connect with this group of players at the minute and hopefully, you know, myself and the staff and we, you know, that's been one frustration. So obviously moving forwards now, that's something we can, we can hopefully address and, you know, that's certainly for me, that'll be a special thing. What was it like today? Because there were fans actually here outside the state. There was a, a few yeah. hundred waiting to meet really? you today I mean wow. Mark Stott's gone out and, and met them as well and, yeah. and you could hear them before the kickoff and that's beautiful to, to see them here today yeah that is and um, I, I must say you know it doesn't surprise me from everything <laughs> I've heard um, so, so that's great and I just really hope that you know we can give them continue to give them something that they're really proud of and you know that's certainly my, my number one goal third place second place it's Whatever it is, it's still in county's hands. Do you see it now as a straight shootout between you, you, us and Hartlepool? Um, yeah, I think um, who knows? I mean, look, it changes, doesn't it? You know, no one knows what's around the corner. Um, so it, it is obviously the point is crucial today, and it gets things back in in our hands in terms of that, you know, third spot, and that's that's brilliant. You know, that's of course we want it to be number one. Everyone does, um, but I, I do think we've done really, really well to to get to get in the position we're in and I think uh, we have to be positive about that. And fans will want me to ask, will Paddy Madden be fit for any of the run-in at all, do you think? Well, you know, it's something we're assessing daily and that's good news, you know, whether we whether that turns into something that we have to be a little bit more caution um, around them decisions, but that will be an ongoing process, but, you know, it's certainly, you know, it's certainly not, not beyond the realms. Great stuff. And just finally, there could be 2,000 in here next week. It's going to be a fantastic atmosphere against Woking on Saturday. Yeah, it is. And I think I mentioned it in my, my pre-match interview. You did, that yeah. I'm, You know, I, I really feel for the football community. And yeah. it, 
you know, it's such an important part of so many lives. And, um, you know, just for people, to something to look forward to and be part of. And I'm genuinely really, really pleased that the supporters here are going to get that back into their lives and, and long may it continue and hopefully stay. Two to go, plus the players. Well done today. Yeah, thanks. Great Cheers stuff. Thank Bye. you.